So what I do is I draw a line from here to here and a line from here to here. And wherever they coincide, this room is not hungry of any moisture. It does not want. Will this water evaporate? No. The following video is part of the Dreamer package. In case you find the video helpful and want to watch more such videos like centrifugal pump characteristic curve, what is cavitation, NPSH key points, positive displacement pump, etc. Find the link of the Dreamers package in the description box below. You can also check out our courses on merchantnavydecoded.com. All the content on the Merchant Navy Decoded website aims at helping you get selected in a good shipping company or college, helping you get faster promotions, but most importantly, guide you to earn respect on ship. Jai Mata Di. Uh, this is a psychometric chart. And but before that, I will talk about wet bulb and dry bulb temperature. So what I do is, I take a room. I make a temperature 40 degree centigrade. And I hang. thermometers over here in this room okay guys now if the temperature is 40 degree centigrade both the temperatures both the thermometers are going to read 40 degrees each now suppose the maximum water vapor then the air inside this room can carry is 10 grams okay and say the amount of water vapor in this room is actually 5 grams clear any problems with that now I hope you remember when I had told you that when we have very high fever our mother takes a water so close keeps it on our forehead and then temperature comes down because the water starts getting evaporated and it takes the heat from our body and reduces our fever similarly I take a, a water soaked cloth and keep it over here on the bulb now we know that water vapor that this room can carry is 10 grams but this room is only having 5 grams of water vapor so approximately relative humidity is 5 upon 10 into 100 that is 50 percent that means this water vapor will be easily evaporated inside the room by this air now when this water vapor starts getting evaporated like the fever and the soil water soaked cloth on our forehead the temperature of this thermometer will come down like our fever does so the temperature will become say 35 degree centigrade Now suppose another case I take where the room temperature is 40 degree centigrade maximum moisture that this air can carry is 10 grams but the amount of moisture in the air is actually 10 grams that is relative humidity is 100% now in this case this room is not hungry of any moisture it does not want will this water evaporate no will the temperature of this thermometer come down no it will show 40 percent only so this means by knowing the dry bulb and wet bulb temperature we can get an idea of what the relative humidity is yes and that is where this psychometric chart comes into play now over here and this has been a question in a lot of uh, your online exams as well where this axis is dry bulb temperature in degrees Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit 
अगेन c अपॉन पाई इज इक्वल टू f माइनस थर्टी टू अपॉन नाइन फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी नाइनटी हंड्रेड हंड्रेड टेन डिग्रीज फेरनाइट ओके दीज लाइन विच आर गोइंग लाइक दीज अब अब दीज आर सोइंग रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी से हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फोर्टी थर्टी एनी प्रॉब्लम विद दैट नो नाउ आई नो दैट माई वेट वर्ल्ड नो गाइज दिस इज माई नो देर आर मेनी लाइन लाइक दिस All these lines are wet bulb lines. Clear? Now my diagram is very poor, but since I know, say my wet bulb temperature is 65 degrees Fahrenheit over here. My wet bulb shows 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and my dry bulb shows 80 degrees Fahrenheit over here. So what I do is I draw a line from here to here and a line from here to here. and wherever they coincide the straight line wherever it meets over here that is 60 degrees fahrenheit that is my dew point there is a question asked by dew point is a horizontal line or a vertical line or a what line it is a horizontal line so by knowing your dry bulb and wet bulb temperature you also know your dew point and also when you know this point you follow this line and you see it goes over here and it tells you relative humidity is 50% so do you know the relative humidity you know the dew point just because of wet bulb and dry bulb temperatures okay guys i hope you remember that and it is helpful if you found the video helpful do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel to watch more such technical videos click on the playlist given on the screen and find the link of the dreamers package in the description box below thank you